Eddie in Cambridge up next. Please, Eddie. Yes, I was very surprised to hear that you thought the COVID virus was a natural occurrence. The majority of people think, and according to the ex-president of the United States, that it started in Wuhan and a laboratory. Well, now, uh, I know that Dr. Trump, uh, PhD, uh, and scientific wizard, uh, considered himself a very considerable genius, a strong and stable genius. But I'm not sure that his declarations of where and how the virus began can necessarily be taken at face value. OK, well, can you... If he was saying that the Chinese are experimenting in their laboratories with germ warfare, then he's almost admitting that America, Britain and Port Down and all the other countries are experimenting with germ warfare. There's no, doubt, uh, there's no, doubt, there's no, there's no doubt about that latter point. Uh, but there has been a World Health Organization inquiry into the uh, start of the COVID crisis, and they did not find uh, that it was man-made, that it was made in Wuhan, that it was made even necessarily in China. Uh, there are uh, considerable uh, grounds for believing that actually uh, that the uh, virus first arose in Italy. Uh, and other parts of Europe. So at this stage, uh, I don't think you should be trumpeting the talking points of the Trumps. Well, it's not Trump as a person. It's what, what his position was that we were. But OK, the facts point that it's a man-made. If you go out in the street and everybody you speak to, you're in a very little minority when you believe it as a natural occurrence. Yeah, but Most people yeah, believe it of course that. But, 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 but Eddie, Eddie, we had a guy on, a compatriot of ours, uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, claiming it doesn't exist. It's a scam, one that's been planned since the 1970s. And uh, so we could transfer wealth, the biggest transfer in human history. He called it. And, 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 and Castro, Castro's in on it. Well, what is that going to do what I'm talking about at the moment? Because I'm it, talking but, about the it, moment we have a virus, Eddie, a very dangerous yeah, virus, I know. and we're doing nothing about it. All we right. are experimenting with viruses, right. and you and people are... People in authority are not finding out what they're experimenting well, with. Unfortunately, any... I'm unfortunately not in authority, but I will say this to you. Here's what it has to do with the point that you are making. That because Big Aggie on the Facebook or on the bus in Sweden uh, or in Cambridge even, where you're calling from, say something, it doesn't make it true. Even if, as you say, the majority of people are saying it, though I don't know how you divine that majority, uh, that doesn't make it true. China denies that it is responsible for this virus. Uh, the WHO backs China's denial. So you're going to need to prove to me with more than everybody in Sweden thinks so. Last word to you. Could you answer this, please? Yeah. Why has this occurred recently within the last two, three, four or five years. But there's the been human race has been things. going for millions of years. Eddie, and all of a Eddie, sudden we get a virus Eddie, there's, been, came... there's been Ebola, there's been SARS. In 2016, we made a war game here in Britain about the impact of, guess what? A coronavirus. There are all, the Spanish flu killed more people than the First World War. It was a virus. It's not just happening over the last two or three years. So how long has the coronavirus been going for then? Well, coronaviruses have been going forever. The Spanish okay, flu, you... the Spanish flu, like all flus, is a coronavirus. So... 
So what are the experimenting with our taxpayers' money, with the best brains that we've got in the country? What are they experimenting with and put it down? Can you say they're not no, experimenting no, you're with onto something. warfare? No, you're on to something. The most obscene practice in humankind surely must be the search for biological and chemical weapons to cause murder and mayhem amongst other people. Finally, you and I found agreement.